Hello everyone and welcome to this month's Zero Tip. This month I'm going to be taking you through the four main ways that you can match payments to invoices or bills in Zero. First one is a direct one-to-one -one match. Now most of you will be familiar with this one. This is where a payment that's come through your bank account exactly matches to an invoice or bill in Zero. Option two is when there is a bank payment that matches to more than one invoice or bill. Option three is a split transaction where a partial payment's received that relates to a bill or invoice but doesn't pay it in full. And the fourth one is where you receive a payment but there's a bank fee deducted or there's a small um, variance due to how they've paid the figure. Today I'm going to be using the demo company as normal to demonstrate these examples. Your demo company will also have the ability to do most of these as well. So if you want to practice them yourself, you can go to your demo company and do them in your own file as well. So the first option, a one-to-one -one match, really straightforward. It should look exactly like this, where you've got a transaction that's come through your bank account and a zero match has come up. And this is exactly the same whether it's money coming in or money going out. So all you do is click OK, job done. Option two, where the amount has been received that needs to be matched to more than one invoice. Now you'll see over here, zero hasn't got a match. Now the reason for that is zero will only look for one-to-one -one matches. If there should be more than one transaction that zero is matching to, it won't show anything here. So to match this up, go to find and match, or you can click on the match button on the screen, same idea. Find the two invoices. If you can see them on the screen here, you can just tick them off, or you can use the search options here to find the particular invoices or bills you're looking at. Now you'll see in this one that I'm using a bill in this example. Please note that whatever I do on the bill side also relates to your sales invoice side and vice versa. Same tech applies on both sides. So all I have to do here is tick the two of them off, click OK, and that's version two. Version three is where we've received a part payment of a sales invoice. In this case, once again, same applies if it's a bill. Need to go to find and match because of course there isn't a direct match in the system. Either use search or if I can see the invoice here, I can put a tick beside it. Now you'll see that the reconcile area here has not come up and that's because it's not a one-to-one -one match. We've got $100 received, but the invoice actually has $250 owing. So what we need to do here is click on split. It will then split the transaction, showing that we're gonna record a $100 part payment and leave $150 remaining. Once that's done, you can then click OK, and that transaction's dealt with. So that's option three. Option four is the one that you may come up against relatively infrequently, um, but if you've got e-commerce or some other provider where um, deductions are being taken from your payments, or you have the odd time where someone looks at an invoice and just pays you a round amount or they keep numbers around the wrong way, if any of those scenarios apply, this is where you would use method four. So once again, I don't have a direct match, so I need to go to find and match, or you can just click on the match button, either one works. I can then search for the particular invoice. Okay. Now I can see the invoice here is for just a dollar short of what's being paid. Now, I don't want to do split because I've actually been overpaid. And also this payment represents the complete payment of the invoice. So now this is where I come down to the adjustments section. So here I can see my total is out by a dollar. If you click on the adjustments drop down, you've got two options here. You've got a bank fee adjustment or a minor adjustment. If I choose minor adjustment, I can put in the difference here, whether this shows as a positive or a negative. In this case, it's a positive, so I'm just gonna type one. If it was a negative, I would type minus one. Key thing to note with this adjustments area, only use it if it is a small amount, so a dollar or less, because what this will do is it will post to a rounding code on your balance sheet, 
And if you're putting hundreds of dollars or lots of money to that code, that can create lots of issues down the track with GST and all sorts of other things. So make sure you're only putting minor adjustments here. If the adjustment was actually a bank fee, so a fee that's been deducted from the payment, you would go to adjustments and bank fee. And here you would record a line to say who it was you paid the fee to, a description if need be, what account you want to code that fee to, the tax rate, and if you're using tracking, then your tracking categories will show here. If not, this category won't show at all because this is just the tracking category that the demo file uses. So if you don't have tracking or you don't know what I mean by that, just ignore this column here. Then the amount, type the amount of the bank fee. In this case, though, it's just a rounding issue. So we're going to go to adjustments, minor adjustments, type of one, and hit reconcile. So that's a quick crash course on the four main methods for reconciling invoices. So just a quick recap. The first one is a one-to-one -one match where you get a nice green match and all you do is click OK, job done. Second option is where you've got a payment that's come in that relates to more than one invoice or bill. You just use find and match to find the various invoices or bills and match them off. The third one is a split payment, so a part payment of an invoice or bill. Find the invoice or bill in the find and match area and then tick it. Click on the split button, check the numbers that zero is calculated are correct. Click OK, job done. And the fourth option is if you have a small rounding adjustment or bank fee like we just went through. There are, of course, other scenarios. So say you might have um, someone that's a customer and a supplier and you need to apply a transaction that goes between both bills and invoices. If you are dealing with a scenario like that, that's where you can tick the show received or show spent, depending on um, which way the transaction is. And it will then pull up both invoices and bills and allow you to match both. And the other one that you may find is a um, overpayment. Um, if uh, you do have an overpayment scenario or a prepayment scenario, please check out my video that I did a few months back um, on those processes. Hope that all makes sense and hopefully that gives you a rundown of the various ways that you can quickly match transactions through your Xero file. Thanks very much.